Hello, you are back. Let us do the opening. All right, here we go. 8.2, first one. Area, bam. Like that, yeah. It's like this. Count up there, one, two, three, four. Is that four? That's four, it's four. First one's four, I'm doing one. Problem number one, how tall is it? It is one, two and a half. Two and a half, do four times two and a half. And then take half of it, it's a triangle. So four times two and a half is 10. You gotta take half of it, it's five. That's the answer to the first one. If you left it as 10, you should feel like maybe you're not such a good person after all, then your parents have been lying to you. Okay, let's do the next one, all right. Oh, difficult this. All right, how tall is that thing over here? One, two, three, that was easy. Now, one, two, three, four, five and a half. You gotta do three times five and a half. So three times five, 15. Three times a half. Three times a half, I started to write the answer, is one and a half. Put them together and you get 16 and a half. But it's a triangle. Hello, hello, we gotta take half of that. Half of the 16 is an eight. Half of a fourth is an eighth. Eight and an eighth, isn't that pretty? Okay, let's do the next one. Ooh, they're getting hot around you. Here we go. Next, oh, bam. Wow, ooh, look at that drawing, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna make sure you make that noise. It's important. All right, let's do this one. The main, oh dude, that's not cool. Because where he dropped it here, it's not even in the line, but it is one and a half over. This is one and a half. Dude, that's pretty rude. And it is one, two, three, four high. So this, this is a rectangle, not a triangle. So it's four times one and a half. So it's four times one is four. Four times a half is half of four is two. Put them together, you get six. Okay, that chunk is six. Now we gotta figure out this chunk. So how far over does this thing go? It goes over one plus another half. So it's one and a half too, or as well. And it is also four tall. So this whole thing is also six, but it's a triangle, so you have to take half of it, so it's only three. Put six and three together, and you get nine. Isn't that nice? Okay, and now for the last one. Oh yeah, they're pulling out the good stuff. All right, whoa. Oh yeah. It's like an isosceles, dude. All right, let's find out the base. One, two, little half on that side, little half on that side makes three. That's just three, man. They just did it right in the middle to be obnoxious. How tall is that? One, two, three, four and a half. It's got to be four and a half. So. So. This height was four and a half. So that's like this rectangle. All right. If I cut off these two pieces and I just sawed them off my board and stuck them, they would fit exactly on there. They would. I'm not going to do it because then I can't do my videos here anymore. And then I might get fired too. All right. So we're going to do three times four and a half. So it's three times four is 12. Three times a half is one and a half. So it's 13 and a half is the whole big thing, All right? Did I do that right? Three times four is 12, three times a half is one and a half, 13, yeah. Why am I questioning myself? Confidence. All right, the whole thing is 13 and a half. I need half of 13 and a half. Half of 13 is six and a half. Half of a half is a fourth. Put them together and you get six and a half plus six, plus one more fourth is six and three fourths. All right, that one I'm gonna check the book and see if I got it right. Oh, it's in right in my hand. Yes, I got it right. Confidence. All right, let's do the last ones. All right, practice. You got 0 0.14 times 8. Solve, show your work. Okay, well... I don't like it when they think, oh, you just figure out what it's gonna be. I know a 10th of an eight, if this was just like that, 0.1, that's a 10th. So that would be 0.8. So 
It's going to be bigger than 0.8 because it's 0.14. I don't know. I tell you what, I'm just doing this the old school way. I don't care whether they like it or not. So you put that decimal in there. Now ignore them. Four, 8 times 4 is 32. Carry is 3. 8 times 1 is 8. 3 more is 11. There are 1, 2 cute little things that are behind a decimal point. So you start here and you go in 1, 2. That's the answer. You're on it. And the last one. Wait for it. It's 2.75 times 4.3. Is that times? Yes, second there. I thought that's it. Devising. I mean dividing and stuff. Okay. You can do this. All right? First of all, is this going to be like 3 times 4? The answer is going to be 12-ish. Okay? Or we could do the my old way, the old way of putting in the decimal. But now you ignore the decimals. They're just gone. Don't add a bunch of zeros onto this guy so that the decimals line up. Who cares if the decimals line up? This is multiplying. You don't care. Just ignore them now. Bing, as if, as if they're not there. So 15 carries a 1. 3 times 7, 21, 22 carries a 2. 3 times 2 is 6. 2 more is 8. I'm so tired of math. Uh -huh. 4 times 5. Well, let's get rid of you. 4 times 5 is 20. 0 carries a 2. 28, 30. 0 carries a 3. 4 times 2 is 8. 3 more is 11. Did you get that? Hmm? You with me so far? Add it up. Get the tears out of the way. That's 5, 2, 8, 1, 1. Remember, my answer had to be near, what did I say? 12? Yeah, that's what I said. I knew that. But I can also do it the old school way, which is you count up how many digits are behind a decimal point. Three. Start here. One, two, three. Either way, I get the same thing, which is 11.825. Here ends this math lesson. Go do something else now.